toy for me. <coughs> Why'd you climb the ramp like that? That gym session this morning was so good. I enjoyed it so much. And I feel so good. It has been raining, like raining, raining nonstop since like 5 p.m. last night. I feel like I haven't seen that much like heavy rainfall consistently in such a long time. But the girls and I went out for breakfast after the gym this morning. I also popped into an espresso and got some more pods. I got one sleeve of caramel creme brulee, which is the caramel I've used heaps before. And then I think he said this one is replacing this flavor, but this is caramello. You're kidding me. I love caramel. So I'm going to put these in my little pod holder. I think I'm going to put some track pants on, pack my bag, all my work stuff, and go to Lang's house and get some work done. Also, look at this frame behind me. My friend Kate, for my Christmas slash moving in present, bought me this print, and it's the Amalfi Coast, which makes my heart so happy. It's so cute. I love how simple and clean but beautiful it is. I'm obsessed. I was going to hang it here, but these hooks were here when I moved in, and they're crooked, so I think I'm going to take them out and then just hang it on command hooks. But for now, it's just sitting here. I also finally moved my mirror from this corner, and I I moved it to here. Winston loves sitting on this little mat, don't you? Your tail looks funny in the mirror. So this is my new little mirror selfie spot, which is kind of fun. I think I'm gonna get a plant to stand in this corner and move the TV cabinet over a little bit. I also feel like it makes my lounge room look so much bigger than when it was just sitting over there in that corner. But I need to have a mat down under here. I feel like this does look a bit random. Like, it's just a bit rogue. It also is a bath mat, <laughs> which I think I can't, like, unlearn. But it needs a mat under it so it doesn't slide because it's actually a frameless mirror. That's just going to have to do. Do you want to go hang out with Ned? Winston and Lang's dog, Ned, didn't get along at the start of their friendship. Come on. But we've been taking them on walks together. And it helps them to, like, get used to each other without just having to play nonstop. And now they're friends and play all the time which is so great Winston has a boyfriend a few boyfriends I feel Winston has a bigger love life than I ever will to be honest this is the fit crew neck and track pants are from Gymshark I'm feeling very warm and cozy of light so please excuse that lighting but i'm currently about to get ready for dinner and i got a princess poly package earlier this week so i wanted to give you a haul and thank them for sponsoring this vlog my current discount code is georgia20 and i'll leave everything that i'm about to show you linked down below along with my sizing and any other information that you may need first of all it's officially puffer season get home <laughs> so see you by the way <laughs> She will be rating all of my outfits. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. I never got a puffer last year that fit me properly because I feel like firstly plus size clothes is just hard to find, especially when you want it to be an oversized jacket. So this just landed on the curve range on Princess Polly and I'm obsessed with it. It is the biggest, squishiest, comfiest puffer I've ever worn. Oh that. It has pockets. It's Stunning. And it fits my big broad shoulders. I'm going to Melbourne this weekend and this will obviously be going in my suitcase because I'm honestly not really prepared for Melbourne winter. <laughs> I'm really not. Speaking of winter items, I got a scarf and a beanie. I realized I had so many colorful scarves and no neutral ones. But I got this cream one. How cute. Really, definitely with this outfit, especially. It's so fluffy and soft. Has little tassels on the end of it. And I feel like you can either wear this obviously with a plain outfit or with a colorful outfit and this just be the neutral color. And I got a beanie. Which I'm not gonna try on with my hair in a ponytail because I don't even want to see that for myself. Do you want me to try it? Yeah. I'm thinking hair down curl, cute jacket, scarf, beanie on the top. So it's so cute. I yeah, feel like really the cream is. is nice with brunette hair too. I agree. Do you feel warm? I do. But also steering away from winter. I got a mini skirt. I have this mini skirt in black and white and I've already worn them both so many times. And as soon as I saw the brown on the other side, it went straight into my cart. Imagine this with a little white baby tee. Even my cowboy boots. Ooh. The laser. A winter outfit wearing a mini skirt. It's my vibe. Everything you need in a mini skirt. I'm obsessed with it. It's like neutral without being black or white. Yeah. I also picked up this red tee. I think that this is meant to be like a horror movie rating graphic. You know, like PG, but like H for horror. Picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Um, so fun. This material, I'm obsessed with. It's very soft and stretchy. I feel like it fits you well, but it's thick enough to not be super unflattering. Ooh. Right? I 
feel like with black jeans, I have red Converse. Yeah. It's giving cool girl. I love the fit of it. It's so comfortable. I also got this green long sleeve top and this color really just spoke to me on the website, didn't it? Isn't this so cute? I love that. It looks so comfy. Yeah, it's really stretchy. It's like a slippery, like kind of swimmery material, if that I makes sense. That yeah, it's, it's so, so comfy. comfy. It also has thumb holes. Oh. I also got this summery tight like bodycon dress. But look at the pattern. Is that not the cutest floral print you've ever seen? Wow. Cute, right? I really like that. Print. I'm obsessed with this print. Yeah, that is so cute. I think they also sell it in a shirt, which I will be needing. Docks and a black blazer. Oh. It's like giving cutesy but like cool girl at the same time. Yeah, way. it's giving la 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 and okay. okay yeah, okay. exactly. We've moved locations because I've completely lost light in my office. But can we take a moment for this sparkly dress? I feel like it's so out of my comfort zone, but my friend Ling really convinced me to get it. As you can see, so sparkly. Materials also like bing, 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 so bouncy and stretchy, if you know what I mean. Like, it just kind of feels like I'm naked. Like, yeah. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Can cuff up the sleeves, docks, cowboy boots, anything really. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, and the final item. Drum roll, please. <laughs> is what I'm wearing to dinner. So we're about to go to a dinner that we have no real details about. Our friend Lang just said, dinner dress cute. This dress is giving garden fairy. One moment, please. I am obsessed with this. Holds the boobs so nicely. I'm of course obsessed with the long flowy sleeves. And I just feel like I need to twirl around in a garden in this dress. <sighs> but instead I'm gonna wear it out to dinner. It's too cute. I'm thinking, actually, one moment. It's getting oh. fearless. Yeah, it is. Wait, you can't see. Oh, that is, I'm obsessed with that dress. I just feel like I need to go to the garden and fall in love with a high lord. <laughs> a high lady, I mean. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. I wish my hair was clean because I feel like this would look so good with a down wavy hair moment. But it's dirty, so this is what we're dealing with. Let's head off to our little dinner. Happy birthday! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just get that so well? Oh, I'm I was lying straight to your face just before <gasps> because Soph was in my presence. But we organized a little surprise birthday paint and sip dinner because Soph's gonna be in Europe for her birthday. <laughs> so we had a surprise early. I was and it all worked out. I was so shocked. Like I feel like rarely I'm like shocked, but I glitched. <laughs> <laughs> just paused I'm in like, the doorway. Like it I'm actually took me so seconds glad. to go. <laughs> like I saw just you holding Ned first, and I was just like, oh, and then it was happy birthday. I was just like, cake, flowers, <laughs> balloons. I was just like <laughs> Wait, we're not going to do it? <laughs> like, I was so confused. I think we pulled it off quite well. We really did. We have a beautiful little paint and sip set up situation. We're going to order some Uber Eats, do some painting. We have a beautiful cake to eat later. <gasps> We've got oh, no. Good morning. Good morning. I'm now at Soph's. Big surprise. What's new? We took the boys for a walk. Big walk. And had a coffee on an empty stomach. And uh, now we feel sick. It wasn't our finest hour. <sighs> not the best choice. I'm not <laughs> Oh, look, we're gonna eat breakfast and then go to the gym. We're actually filming um, <laughs> some more bits in my microphone. We're filming a mic dump gym session together. I can't stop looking at how rough I look on that camera. I've never filmed a mic dump session with someone before. I'm a bit nervous. Are you? It's my first mic dump session. I think it will be fun with two people because, like, we do chat a lot in the gym anyway. Chocolate chip time! No, 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 no! no. Stick to the stuff you know! I loved in your vlog when you bit the, the grape. grape. <laughs> I was shocked. All right? I was not expecting that crunchy. No, I tried. I was like, no. I tried one in the market and I was like, just the back, please. <laughs> These are my oats. Yum. Chocolate for breakfast? Yes, please. This is mine. So just in case you're wondering, oats and chia seeds, almond milk, and a bit of water, vanilla protein. And then I let it set in the fridge for literally like five minutes. You don't need that long. And then banana and sugar. And it's so good. Thank like you a, for that tutorial. It's like a chia pudding oat thing. My tummy's feeling better. Mm. Hiya. Yeah, yeah. If you hear me pass that lobster, let me take you shopping. Or my steak. Got moved. Yeah. We're going to the gym. Yes.
morning happy friday rach and soph ended up staying over last night which i love when my friends come and stay at my place it fills my cup up so much and just makes me so happy and we all just get to like wake up together and decide what we want to do and it's just one of my favorite things ever so we woke up and went for a morning walk we went and got a coffee did like a three kilometer walk and then had breakfast at biscuit and then i came home and i've just kind of been rushing around like a headless chicken for a little while that's an awful saying i definitely just grew up with my dad saying that and never really questioned it but that's awful anyway i've just been frantically packing getting ready to leave for melbourne my friend lang's gonna come pick me up i think in like 15 20 minutes so i'm ahead of schedule which is stunning while my kindle is connected to wi-fi i just bought the next two books in the akatar series i'm like 80 let me check i'm 88 percent of the way through the third book and i'm loving it i'm so intrigued to see what happens i'm scared i'm excited i'm intrigued so i think that i'm gonna finish that on the plane so i bought the next book in the series which is like a little novella i think from lots of people's different perspectives and i think i should be able to read that fairly quickly and in case i finish it on the plane back or anytime i need it and my kindle's not connected to wi-fi i bought the last book that's out silver flames or something a court of silver flames so i'm so excited i've read nothing but akata for like two months now i think and i'm loving every minute of it to be honest i also the other day finally hopped on the bandwagon and i bought a uniqlo bag i couldn't decide for so long if i wanted the black or the cream so i ended up buying both which is definitely silly of me but i think i'm gonna use them so incredibly much and i'm obsessed with it so this is gonna be my carry-on bag i've got a spare camera battery got my dad cam my phone will go in there my kindle obviously and like that still has so much room in it i think i'm gonna put my wallet my house keys that's it in there and then i'm just gonna carry these around because i need them for the plane but they don't fit in here i do wish that these like folded just down so it's like a compact thing that is all packed have my plane hoodie just here i'm gonna do a quick tidy up of the house i feel like this week has just been so busy in like the best way possible but i don't even know how much i told you but my friend lang is now managing so freaked and i and everything to do with our job social media wise so the change of management has just kind of swallowed us up this week and it just kept us really busy which has been really really nice i've enjoyed every minute of it and then i was at so and then we had so surprise birthday thing which went so well i can't believe we managed to surprise her i feel like she's such a clued in person i'm just gonna like pick up on like vibes and when people are lying but we managed to keep it a surprise which makes me so happy i was so nervous and stressed all day thinking that she knew that she was gonna have a surprise dinner i'm such a bad liar well so said i'm good because she didn't know but me being a good liar caused me to be so nervous all day so it worked really well and then obviously the guys were here this morning which i loved but i just like have been alone i've been in and out of the house winston is at my dog trainers having the best time ever my house just feels like a bomb has hit it i ran around last night cleaning it up and now that i've packed it's kind of messy again so i'm just gonna tidy everything up deal with that and then Lang should be here and i'm heading to the airport and being reunited with my bestie and i'm so excited <laughs> is warm. Good morning. Good morning. She and I are back and better than ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're obviously just jamming to some Taylor Swift right now. Fearless, obviously. We're driving to watch some footy. Gemma's car has seat warming. Heated butts. Heated butts and I love it. I would just like to give everyone a football update that I'm learning so many new rules today. It's delightful. It truly is. <laughs> These look like marshmallows. Big, fluffy marshmallows. Toasty. We have Paris by Taylor Swift stuck in our head. Yeah. There's a guy, guy you hooked, hooked up with ages ago some wannabe C-lister. We're insufferable. I'm such a soccer girly so I've learned the rules to AFL and netball today. Really proud of you. Yeah, I'm quite proud and I've, I'm quite invested. Do you call AFL ball football or do I sound like an idiot? No, football. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. People call like rugby footy and then soccer footy. And yeah, it's like... a little bit overwhelming. Like it's kind of like, I feel like they should have different terms. Yeah, I agree. It makes me sad I didn't sign up for a soccer team this year. I know. When is the soccer season? Is it like over the winter? Winter. Yeah. yeah. Guys, AFL is so hectic. So violent. People the first just... thing that came out of your mouth was, I really understand why people get injured so easily. <laughs> because there's like, everyone's on the floor kicking their studded boots around and people are just diving for them. Yeah. Are you not scared? I'm scared, but that's why I don't play football. <laughs> yeah, so fair. I think I'm I'm happy with the amount of contact that's in soccer. Wait, so on the soccer field, like you're waiting for the ball to come, can we be? Shoulder to shoulder, but you can't just be like what? <laughs> I really hope that Jackson's team is going to do that at the day. He's so nervy. No. That guy from the file looks like Jackson. Just because he has red hair? <laughs> and like, but with Jackson's hair isn't really that red anymore. He's got a bit of build it's... on him. Jax doesn't have a bit of build on him. He's as skinny as heck. <laughs> but very sexy. <laughs>
Um, this is just confirming everyone who thinks that we're dating. <laughs> we're very clearly not. I'm clearly very, very straight. Someone replied to my story last night, trying to convince me that we were dating. She was like, yeah, like, really, like, you just don't know that <laughs> yeah. you two are I was like, oh, oh, okay. But this has been going on. For years now. Before For it was years. even out. Like, so very, like... Very bold of you to yeah, assume. Yeah, very bold of you to assume. And but I see... also feel like it's a very lesbian thing to do to, like, fly into state to see <laughs> someone. To see a girl. Do you know what I mean? So I can but, understand. No, you just do it because you love me. We're platonic. Exactly. We're platonic. Soul mates. Do you think when I get engaged, people will finally believe that we're not really... <laughs> yeah. Also, I would soft launch my relationship way better. Like, I would be way more sly, I feel. Here. I'm so excited to... To dance the T-Swift tonight after we fill our bellies full of dumplings. I look like such a marshmallow. I am mellow. Your um, ex-friend's sister. Met someone at a club and he kissed her. Look at him. You look so handsome. Which one is he? Second from the end. Just here. Oh. See? They really all look 34. <laughs> Number 34. Yeah. What a man. Men just He's so really fucking look hot. the same. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like, the whole way home from the airport yesterday, Rachel and I were like, we so get why you're gay. <laughs> we're like, they're so annoying. There's no way we were all just born and, like, chose to like men. Yeah, Rachel literally said to you in the car, she's like, there is no way if I had a choice, I would be married to a man. <laughs> all right, should we go watch? <sighs> we should. I need a sippy. Can't you put your gas in? <laughs> no, that's right. No? Can't you put your gas in? No. Oh, my God. Have you seen she's the man? Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking TikTok, like in my uh, head, like I'm immediately a like... TikTok audio. Yeah. I was a bit worried for our friendship just then. Update! Oh, oh see. <laughs> thought that was all about to fall over. I'll stand up here so we're the same height. We're off to Taylor Swift night. Yeah! I've gone for all black. We're very, yeah, very black and white, very monotone. All black is my favorite fit. This guy is from Princess Folly, same one as the brown one that I got. I'm obsessed with it. We're gonna go have dinner at Oriental Tea House and then go party our little hearts away. Good morning. Oh, wow. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Goose. We're having a wonderful day. A I am wonderful goose. day. Um, we're not hungover this morning. Not at all. We just actually went to self-serve acai bowl place. It was called Blitz Bar. Oh, it was phenomenal. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm so upset. 10. There's nothing like that in Queensland. It was so good. And it was like whip acai that A, tasted so yum, but B, was thick. Like, I don't understand how that happened, but I'm She's sick. obsessed with it. Hi. But now we've just driven into the city because we're about to go get some tattoos. Ah, I'm so excited. A while ago, I bought a bunch of temporary tattoos and tried them all out. And now we're going and getting the real thing. Yeah, we are. And it's going to be a great experience for you. Yeah, I'm so excited to just have a good experience in a nice place with a nice lady. And I know this tattoo, tattoo artist is amazing because she did all of my other tattoos. Yeah, so, so that makes me great. feel safe as well. And you know, like, all mine are literally perfect. So. Good, so, yeah. Take me off the roster. Tat it up. I this is my broken stuff. hand. Yeah. We got home. You know how sometimes you'll, like, feel sober and then all of a sudden the alcohol will just, like, hit you a bit later? That was... <laughs> this one last night running through your apartment hallway like an airplane obviously I, I had the zoomies i really did she really did smacked her hand against the wall and now it's all bruised and it's split open and so <sighs> I, I sit all night and like the swelling's gone like right down but she's bruised she's, she's split blue. open and she's quite sore but i had a great time <laughs> you are silly silly goose no one wanted to play with me as a little kid <laughs> We're gonna go, well, I'm gonna go get a coffee. Coffee? And then go get some. Shut it up. <laughs> We're officially back home. I got home yesterday and I picked up Winnie from my dog trainer today. And Winston is so incredibly tired. It's my favorite. I love it so much. So I've just been here editing this vlog all day and he's just been sleeping. But I realized I never finished the vlog and I also never showed you my finished tattoos. It was kind of a chaotic rest of the trip. And then now I'm home. I finally got to take off the second skin little thing that they put over the tattoos. So I can show you what they look like for now. Obviously they have to heal and all that jazz, but I'm so happy with them. 
We went to Fine Line Tattoos in Melbourne. We saw a girl called Zoe. Obsessed. Let me show you. I got a little shell on my wrist just here and I'm obsessed with her. If you just excuse the way my hair was shaved around my wrist. I'm obsessed. I love that I can't really see it all the time. And then when I'm taking a photo or vlogging in the camera or anything like that, I just get a little peep of it and I'm obsessed. That's her up close. If you watch my vlog where I tried the temporary tattoos, you would know that I was getting a rainbow. It's really red around it because taking off the second skin hurts so bad and my skin is so sensitive. I love her. I love that when my arm is just like this, you can't see it, but then she's there. You know, I think she's so cute and dainty and I'm happy to be a part of the Rainbow Club. I also got the word fearless on the back of my arm. Gemma also has fearless on the back of her arm in a different font. So I'm obsessed with this. It's so cute. I am fearless. It's a bit of a feel the fear, do it anyway. Fearless raised me and I just love it so much. I'm so happy with the font, with the placement. I'm obsessed. I feel like this tattoo really makes you feel cool. Just like the placement of it. I love her. I'm really trying to not show you my toes right now, but I also got a little W on my ankle for Winston because he is the love of my life and it's so cute. <laughs> I'm so happy with them. Also, like if you've heard me talk about my previous tattoo experience, then you would know how happy I am to like actually go to a great artist and a lovely environment with a tattoo artist that was so patient and kind. I can't wait for them to heal and to see how they look. And now that I have a few good tattoos, I'm like, oh, I can kind of see how this becomes addicting and I need to not be silly. <laughs> but thank you for joining me on this vlog. I feel like it's so chaotic. I am hardly on my own in this vlog, but those are my favorite vlogs to watch and I really enjoyed it editing it because I just felt like I was hanging out with my friends so I hope that's what I felt like for you as well I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll catch you in my next video very very soon